For many years, the Land Rover Defender was the United Kingdom's answer to the rough-and-tumble Jeeps of America, but with the latest generation, the luxury brand has engineered in more comfort to go along with the off-roaders go-anywhere capability. Both two- and four-door body styles are on offer with comfortable and practical cabins, modern infotainment, and tech features, and a signature style that evokes those revered defenders of yore. A turbocharged four-cylinder is standard, and more powerful inline-6 and V8 engines are available, all defenders come standard with all-wheel drive. From there, buyers are offered a plethora of advanced off-roading equipment, including locking differentials, a height-adjustable air suspension, and a special mode for wading through deep water. The Defender is powered by a standard turbocharged four-cylinder engine made it to an eight-speed automatic transmission. Of course, every model features four-wheel drive and locking differentials for navigating treacherous terrain. The Defender is also available with a 3.0-liter inline-six which utilizes an electric supercharger and a 48-volt hybrid system. The long wheelbase 130 model we tested with this powertrain ran to 60 miles per hour in 6.2 seconds. Buyers looking for additional performance can opt for the 518 horsepower supercharged V8, which hustled the Defender 90 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.4 seconds in our testing. Unlike its predecessor, the Defender has a unibody construction versus a body on frame setup, and it replaces the old solid axles with a fully independent suspension. The base suspension utilizes coil springs, but it can be upgraded with an air suspension that enables adjustable ride height. The Defender has 11.5 inches of ground clearance and the ability to ford through 35 inches of water, which exceeds both the Jeep Wrangler's maximum clearance and its wading ability. The EPA's fuel economy ratings for the various Defender models are similar regardless of what's under the hood. The 90 model with the four-cylinder receives ratings of 18 miles per gallon city and 21 highway. Step up to the six-cylinder engine and the 90 city rating drops to 17 miles per gallon but the highway rating goes up to 23. The 110 model with the six-cylinder engine has the same estimates as the six-cylinder 90, but the long wheelbase 130 is rated for 17 miles per gallon city and 21 miles per gallon highway with the six-cylinder. The V8 variant of the 110 is rated for 14 miles per gallon city and 19 miles per gallon highway. The 90 with the V8 is good for 15 miles per gallon city and 19 miles per gallon highway. On our 75 mile per hour highway fuel economy route, a Defender 110X with the optional six cylinder powertrain delivered a disappointing 18 miles per gallon, the 130 model managed only 19 miles per gallon in the same test. The Defender's cabin walks the line between premium and utilitarian, with just enough design cues from the rest of the Land Rover lineup to make those familiar with the brand feel at home. Exposed rivets in the door panels add a rugged appearance, and a magnesium beam that runs the full width of the dashboard isn't entirely cosmetic, it's also structural. Under the infotainment display, a trapezoidal extension of the dashboard provides a place for buttons and switches for the climate control system and driving mode. The shift lever and ignition switch are also mounted on this center stack rather than the center console. In some models, the center console can be flipped back to create a jump seat between the driver and passenger, similar to a three-across bench in some full-size pickup trucks. Cargo space behind the rear seat in 90 and 110 models is limited, but on par with rival off-roaders such as the Wrangler, the rear seats can be folded to open up a much larger cargo bay but those seeking to haul people and gear may want to look at the larger Land Rover Discovery or invest in a rooftop cargo carrier. The longer 130 model offers additional cargo space with a third row stowed, but with it in use, there's not much room for gear. The Defender's dashboard sports a 10-inch touchscreen infotainment system that runs a new interface for Land Rover called Pivi Pro, a larger 11.4-inch display is optional. Compared to the rest of the Land Rover lineup's Touch Pro Duo interface, the Defender's system relies on a single touchscreen instead of two, offers quicker response times, and can handle over-the-air software updates for future releases. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are both standard, as is an in-dash navigation system, a six-speaker stereo, and an onboard Wi-Fi hotspot. 
Both 10 and 14 speaker Meridian stereo systems are optional features and buyers of higher-end defenders receive a digital gauge cluster and a head-up display.